So you're probably here because you've just taken Sanoderma or second skin off and seen that there's still some adhesion stuck to your skin and your new tattoo. And now you're probably wondering and maybe even slightly freaking out a bit on what to do and how to go ahead and properly take it off without damaging your new tattoo and that new skin that it is on. Now I've had this happen to me multiple times in the past when I've used Sanoderm and initially I freaked out too. Enough so that I went ahead myself and tried to find answers on how to go ahead and remove it. Unfortunately, there isn't much information out there in terms of how to go ahead and properly remove it without damaging or ruining your tattoo in any way. The only thing I was able to find is this screenshot right here which kind of helps, but it also kind of doesn't. Like it gives some insightful information in terms of what to do, but at the same time, it doesn't. Like what oil am I supposed to be using? Vegetable oil, olive oil, avocado oil, sesame seed oil, peanut oil, motor oil, what oil? And because this is a common thing that seems to happen to a lot of people, I've had a lot of you guys reach out to me or comment in videos asking how to properly go about, you know, removing it. And unfortunately, all I'm able to really do is either copy and paste from what this says or send you that screenshot directly. That is until now and until today, I actually have a representative from Sanderm to come and kind of like explain this better and kind of inform you better on how to properly go about removing that adhesive that is still stuck to your skin after you've removed the Sanderm or the second skin and if you need to be worried or not. What's up guys? I'm Reno. I am a representative here at Sanoderm. Uh, you'll often see me at trade shows or on the TikTok channel. So when it comes to, you know, keeping adhesive on your body for uh, multiple days, even a Band-Aid will generally leave a little line around it, but especially in areas of your body that bend a lot, you're almost guaranteed to have some leftover residue. And if that residue doesn't just come right off in the first wash, sometimes it takes multiple washes with hot soapy water to get it. If it's really just giving you issues, we then recommend try using coconut oil or baby oil. That will help loosen up the adhesive and get up under it and pull it out. If you really just can't get it off, you can always purchase medical grade adhesive remover from your local pharmacy, such as Walgreens, CVS, Walmart. That should definitely take the adhesive right off your skin. All right guys, so I hope that helps explain things a little bit better in terms of how to go about taking the adhesive off. Honestly, do not worry. It will come off by itself from my experiences. But yeah, if you want to try that oil method now that you kind of know which ones to use and also maybe try to use that soap method first with a little bit of like a lukewarm water, try that first and then move on to it next. And like that also screenshot says, try to wash the whole area once it has come off to get that oil off so your skin can breathe better. Now I want you guys to go ahead and give the video a big thumbs up so this can be spread to everybody that is having this problem. And so this can be the number one video in terms of informing people on how to go about fixing this problem that a lot of us seem to be having. Also, make sure to stay tuned because I have another video coming very soon featuring Reno about if when taking Sanderm or any second skin off and it is stuck on that skin, if your tattoo is ruined in any way. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you soon. Like always, Justin out. Later, guys.